Getting this shelf back in was just as challenging as getting it out. We didn't record it, but the night prior we had our friend and their friend whom we had never met before here for about an hour or so trying to help us wrestle the shelf into place. It was just not happening, even with the four of us manhandling it. But it was nonetheless an exciting time considering all the exciting words that were used. The damage the shelf caused our new friend's shirt, and not to mention he was harboring an injured wrist while helping us with this impossible mission. So after calling it a night of defeat, Tiff and I regrouped the next morning and we decided we were going to wedge this shelf up inch by inch and then slide it into place. This was made possible due to the huge cache of wood planks the homeowner had in the adjacent garage. This time it was a success, despite it destroying part of my newly done wine scooting wall. Once it was back in its spot, we painted it just like we did the other side. You in your wrecking chair? Robert hasn't been inside all day. You don't even need to go potty? We renamed the living room Box City because that's exactly what it looked like as we stockpiled. All of the project parts are waiting to be installed. By this point in the build, it was slowly dwindling down to Box Village. Inside one of the boxes was the mattress for our bed. We bought a thin 5-inch mattress from Amazon, and after giving it a brief test, we determined it was fit for four. Two humans and two cats. After testing it in the Ambo, we determined that we need to cut off a few inches at the foot of the bed to allow more space for walking in and out of the rig. I've been dealing with the air suspension and it's been one problem after the other. The current problem is the airbags are dry rotted and leaking, so I bought new ones, but they're slightly different than the ones on the Ambo, and they won't work. The best part is, they sat in Box City so long that I can't return them. Not too long after borrowing those planks to get the shelf back in place, I got the idea that maybe I could repurpose those planks and route them to use a shiplap for the AC wall. We all know I'm a sucker for free material, even though I had to go buy the router and bit. In hindsight, I should have just purchased the overpriced shiplap from the store and saved the week of my life as this took quite a bit of time to complete amongst everything else going on.
The saving grace was that we had an extra pair of helping hands to get things done, which was great because there was no shortage of items on our to-do list. The roof needed a good scrub, lots of good scrubbing actually, so that the silicone roof coating would adhere properly. And it did. We were happy with the end results. Got tail lights. Oh no, that one's not working. Oh, uh, probably the shelf. I'm Ruined sure. It. Yeah. But maybe we could fix it still. Wake up! <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Could it be you? The shelf shouldn't even touch that one. Here's a brown one that's not connected. We've just about come to the end of our rope here in our rental home. So it's time to start securing everything for a trip to our next temporary lodging location. We figured out now is as good a time as any to get the solar panels installed on the roof so we didn't have to move them around again. This is the craziest thing I've seen in a while. It's a combination of metal shavings from the roof and the adhesive backing from the mounting plates on the solar panels. The entire drill bit was covered, you know, colored in this grayish color, but my last hole must have, you know, scraped it down some, but as well. We have three 445 watt solar panels, one of which was banged up cosmetically on the side while en route. The truck driver didn't really care when I noted it, and I honestly was not about to delay my project to demand a prettier panel, so I just accepted it for what it was and moved on. I know some people are concerned about putting holes in the roof or anywhere on their rig, but we are not those people. A half decade of living on a boat was quite the confidence course in knowing how to properly seal holes of various sizes, so we drilled tons of holes to bolt down the stainless steel panel brackets. We used marine grade sealant for the bolt holes and they are 100% leak free. We later took it a step further and covered the brackets with Dicor self-leveling lap sealant.
freaking rubbing noises. We planned to buy a 12 volt RV fridge, but the company decided not to honor the fact that it clearly says free shipping on their website. So I decided to buy a residential fridge with the same dimensions for a third of the cost. What do you think? It's a fridge. It is. Oh, I like the drawers. I don't know about the can thing. Like, we don't have that many cans in Yet. our life. But we're gonna, apparently. I don't know. Maybe it'll fit like relish. <laughs> yeah, or you could, yeah, that's, that's, that's true to be honest with you. Little smaller cans. Yeah. It's good. That's big. I mean, yeah. it's a lot bigger than. I think it's a lot bigger than what we have in the boat. Uh, <laughs> Not whippersnapper, but um, rum human. The freezer is a little bit smaller. But yeah, the freezer is definitely smaller. But, I mean, but it's plenty. Yeah, that, yeah, it's a good size. It's so official looking. With all its blue tape and energy, guy. energy star. Yeah. It looks like you. Would, it looks like we made a big purchase. Yeah. <laughs> it's tall. Yeah, it is tall. It feels like you got to kind of bend over to get into the fridge a little bit, but um. I think that it being on the stairs, you probably you just go down, yeah. kind of straddle the stairs, or just. Well, that's, that's all fridges, even in homes, you have to bend down. Uh oh. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna need to put some latches or something. Yeah, on. that was the first thing that came to my mind. Is uh, and the spinning ain't done yet because we need to find a way to latch it. Oh, you can turn those lights off in here. Me Wait, I thought you were measuring something. Did, you Did I not measure it? No. <laughs> oh, well, I felt like I accomplished something. <laughs> I wish it wasn't on the stereo phone. I mean, yeah, it won't make anything, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. I could just, yeah, drop it down. Getting the fridge in place was the last step before breaking down shop and turning the Ambo into a moving truck. The fridge fits in place, but getting it open is a completely different story. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next video where we move the Ambo to the next location and take our build to the next level.